Hi everybody out there in Saberland. This is Darth Alice over at IRA Forum and over at FX. And I wanted to show you my newest creation. This is a Proto or a Proto Retro Saber. In that this is what came out in the days before the Old Republic when they couldn't fit a battery pack small enough into a regular hilt to drive a plasma blade. What I've done is take a 1920s fire extinguisher, I cut and sectioned it into this shape into a belt pack. I also added a couple leather tags to the top, leather straps to the top, to make it a drop holster. So it feels just like a very high quality, a little bit heavy pistol on the side of your hip. And it also has a belt loop to go around the thigh too to secure the whole thing. So it does fit and ride very well. What I've done too is mount a 40 millimeter um, 8 ohm speaker in here, 3 watt. And this is full range, so it picks up a lot of different things. It picks up a lot of your bases. and also has a custom base tube that I created to go on the inside of this to create more resonance inside this whole chamber. From there, I used a new lumen glass or a plasma disc mounted to the front, a 1920s voltmeter, which has a regulator, keeps it a little bit above 3 volts when it's at full charge, which this thing really runs about 8 volts with a lithium ion pack. It's running 418650s. Um, activation switch, kill key recharge port. The hilt is actually the third uh, third incarnation of this. This is my Ultra Saber's Prophecy, and it's the first lightsaber that I ever bought. This was originally a stunt a stunt with a green P4 uh, LED in it. It was a great saber. I really enjoyed it. After owning it for all of five minutes, I realized, oh, shoot, this thing's got to have sound. So I got my hands on a Master Replica's uh, Anakin board, crammed that inside of it, used it for seven, eight months that way, and I still really liked it. Well, I gutted it down, and I use this hilt because it's quite small. It's very thin, small, which I would think, since you're splitting up your power source and the main saber itself, it's what you'd want. What I've done to this is mill out the whole area where the activation switch used to be. I created a one-inch uh, one rail out of polycarbonate, it houses a Arkansas clear, well it's a little bit cloudy crystal. Also a vacuum tube mounted on top of that with brass and copper rods. What you see too is a brass base which houses a 5 milliwatt red, red laser which drives the main crystal. What you see also is a lot of aging and weathering. This is a new formula that I came up with that is rather simple. From there, I milled slots in the bottom of the hilt itself to be able to let light through because I added a few LEDs in the bottom. Um, the activation switch is a new style that I just developed. It's a quarter inch tall by half inch wide, which I already know I could even make them a little bit narrower than this, the brass strip in the center. But that feeds the whole thing with main activation and also auxiliary. I didn't really like the flutes on the hilt. I thought they were kind of neat, but I wanted something different, so I took brass, cut each piece, um, drilled and tapped and then took each one and antiqued it to match everything else. So this is the basis for my old Proto Saber. The cord is a new production 1940s style four wire uh, telephone cord. It's very durable and it will handle a lot of power. Alright, so I've talked enough about details so here we go. This is three stage ignition so initially I pull out the kill key and what you get is a blinking LED and the blue LEDs in the speaker grill light up. Second stage is flicking on the kill key. <laughs> Alright, and the first spot in here is Electrum. General Palpatine. It's one of my favorite fonts. It has like 20 slashes, 30 swings. It's, it's crazy. Ignition. I don't know if you can see it. I'll turn off this light here. Maybe that'll help. There we go. You can see the crystal glowing in there. And it pulses with the blade. Blaster. Is quite loud. This, this also
also has Saber FX. There's 14 different slots of carry-on sounds that happen after a blast or an action. <laughs> so there we go. Next spot. Ancient Saber. Again, I just like this because you can really see that crystal blowing and fading in and out. See that needle jump around too, can't you? Next spot. Yeah, this one's interesting. I love the hum on this one. It's it's a nice creation. Yes, the igniter is an awesome board. I chose this because it's pushing three watts. I'm having to talk over it because it is loud. There we go. That's probably a little better. Next spot. That's a cool one. I've got some FX on that one too, but I really wanted to show you. And this is a shout out to Link. Thanks, Link. This is just a cool, neat setup for a sound font. Zombies. Of course, off of our, one of our favorite video games, Call of Duty. And Saber Cinema. I set up four different ones on this. I think with this I'll flick the lumen glass on too because it's probably fitting. See, it's got a three-way switch. There we go. We'll fire up the saber. Some of the slash and swings I made zombie uh, zombie screams. Take this out on, take out the eyeball blade plug here, shut the saber down, and see it's still playing the music. Flick to the next font. Game show song, uh, font. Or back to the original. Which I'll go back to this. Now check this out with a blade in it. Let's see if we can catch this with the, the camera. I know I turned the light off. It's probably going to blind it out. Blaster. It's gonna be a pleasure to feel this much pain. Nicely fully lit, full blade. I'm using a uh, Tri Rebel Red Red White, and I wanted to do this because I was going to do a uh, true color setup, but here I'm going to kill this, and then we'll kill the, the uh, Saber FX. There we go. Next five. 
I still haven't modified that one. I do like it, but it's very mellow. Very elegant. Thank you, Scott. And then next font. Which that's a cool font too, but finally. And that's a shout out to Mongo. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. I know this was kind of a long video. <laughs>